Hello there. Here we have a little video. It's actually one of my longer ones as of recently. Um, I've actually had a request for quite a while to do a synopsis, I guess, on the white jelly roll uh, pin versus the white ink that you can get for the Rotring Isograph. Um, I actually started this drawing because uh, I was drawing something underneath this page <clears throat> and then I maybe had too many beers and wrote stuff on top of it so I woke up the next day and decided I should probably cover it up uh, if I wanted to keep the dignity of this sketchbook. So I did that, and this little fish came to be, so this is the jelly roll pen. <clears throat> uh, my thoughts on this jelly roll are that, I don't know, it's not, it's not amazing. It's, it's a pretty good pen. I think they're like three dollars, maybe less. <clears throat> um, I think the ink, for the most part, flows pretty decently. Uh... It has kind of a nice texture when you run your fang, your your fang, your finger over what you've done. Um, it doesn't smear. It dries pretty instantaneously, uh, and it works pretty well on this paper. It's just some what's the name of this stuff? It's like Astro Bright or something. Astro Brights, plural. Uh, it's like, I don't know, decent cardstock maybe, I'm not sure. But it, it's black paper and uh, it holds ink pretty decently. Um, I took this little fish to the bar a few times. Um, luckily I didn't screw this one up. Uh, gosh, I sound like an alcoholic, I'm really not, I promise. I just really like beer. I really like beer. Beers, I love beer. I really love beer. Okay, okay. So now that we have that out of our systems, uh, this was my drawing for the jelly roll. Uh, and, 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 uh, and then I got some, some, some Prismacolor markers and kind of made a cousin for this guy on the other page that I finished last week. Uh, the other part of this video, oh look, it's the same paper. Uh, <clears throat> I actually recorded this other part, uh, quite a few months ago, maybe like six months ago when I first started to think about making this video. Um, and you can see how I'm already kind of struggling with the Rotring Isograph. It's a point two. So, or sorry, a point two five. So it's really, it's a really, really thin nib. Um, the white ink is a little thicker than just regular black ink that you put in Rotring pens. Um, so already it's a little hard to get going sometimes. It's hard to set it down, you know, take a break, watch a movie or something for three seconds uh, without it clogging and you have to shake it, maybe suck on the end of it, get a bunch in your mouth, and feel terrible about yourself. Uh, but once you get it going, it's nice. It's it's satisfying to put down all these little dots. It's really fun to stipple with. Um, <clears throat> it makes great astronomy stippling drawings. Um, Yeah. So I actually finished this draw, or I finished this moon part, um, and had it sitting in a drawer roughly until today when I took it out and finished it. Uh, the rest obviously you'll, you'll see here in a little bit. But I had this moon drawn and some other stuff, but, uh, I found it and I was like, well, well, gee, maybe, maybe I'll just... I'll go ahead and make this video that I've been planning on making. Um, uh, and, and 
and yeah. So so now now we've got a little bit. We've got we've got a few minutes here to talk about life. Um. Let's see, what's been going on? Uh, I'm going to Europe this summer. That's a thing. I'm going to London and Dublin and Edinburgh, Scotland, and um, Stonehenge and Bath and uh, yeah, like Europe proper. Um, I was there once when I was a kid. <clears throat> nope, that's a lie. I was there twice. Uh, but, but I was a kid. I was like 11 and 12. It was like two consecutive summers, I think. Maybe there was a summer in between. Um, like my grandmother took us. And it was like one of her last opportunities to take her herself and her grandkids out to, to her namesake. And um, so we all went out there and uh, went to a couple places that, that I'll be going this summer, but this is my first real trip out of the States in my adult life, and it's pretty much all I can think of right now. It's, we're going in July, it's part of a school thing, and, uh, I'm going with one of my favorite professors and her daughters, and we're already planning on having a ton of fun and maybe getting tattoos or something out there, and, uh, yeah, it's it's going to be a blast. I'm really, really thrilled. Um, decided to do this in, in December. I don't think she, my professor friend, I don't think she really uh, thought that I would go through with it. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we're going to do it. So, so there's that. There's that. It's it's literally all I can think of these days between work and school and stuff and drawing things, making videos, reading books. Oh, I've been reading a ton of books lately. Uh, I joined this thing called Book of the Month. <clears throat> Excuse me. I just ate some ice cream and, and my throat's like really mad at me. Uh, yeah, I joined this thing called Book of the Month and... Uh, you pay like 15 bucks or something and maybe it's ten dollars I forget <clears throat> something in there and uh, you pick from like one of five books or something and uh, so far I've read a few really good ones uh, I read this one called uh, The Great Alone um, by Kathleen somebody or I don't know I forget her name but Maybe it's Hannah. Kristen Hannah? Is that it? Yeah. No. Maybe that's it. Anyway, it's called The Great Alone, and, and that was really good. I kind of kind of fell into that book. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, what else have I read? I'm reading Circe right now by Madeline Miller, and it's pretty good. Uh, I finished American Gods by the, the one and only Neil Gaiman. <laughs> Um, I've been reading his Sandman series as well, getting some, uh, some Sandman up in my life. Um, been meaning to read that series been f for like 15 years or something and got it for Christmas, the, the 10 volume box thing. It's beautiful and it smells wonderful. Got that for Christmas and have been slowly reading through it. Um, yeah. I haven't really been playing many, many video games. Um, just not really into it. There's just, you know, there's too much other, too many other things that I gotta do with myself. Uh, my good old husband Rory is in Houston. He's doing a job out there for another two weeks or so, and he'll be home this weekend for a little while, and then going back out there, and and then after that, uh, I think, I think that's it for him. He just realized today, or found out in a meeting, that, that he'd be home for the majority of the year after this one, um, which is nice. We get to spend some good time with each other before 
I'm off to Europe. Never to be seen again. Nah, I, I just, I just. But, uh... I'm sure I'm gonna get out there and not want to come home. You know how it is. I don't know. I think I'd miss my dog too much. And, and like, my my bed and stuff. And, and maybe my husband. I don't know. Possibly. Uh... Oh hey, okay. So so this is this is what I did today. Uh, I pulled it out. I actually had it crunched. Well, not crunched. The whole point was to uncrunch it inside of a book, big old book of astronomy, and flatten it out for a few days. But it's still kind of wrinkly. I mean, I don't know what I expected. It's it's light cardstock, and and I doused it. So, uh, but yeah, here is a. The lovely final, final product. And, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you next time. Okay, bye.